with the patient in a supine position, we're going to contralaterally rotate the head. We are going to take our superior contact hand, uh, taking our pisiform and placing it on the mastoid process. The inferior hand, we're going to take our third digit and we're going to wrap it around the inferior nuchal line in order to cup the occiput. We will then take our chest and we will place it on the dorsal aspect of the superior contact hand. This allows us to place an inferior force with the chest against the, pa the patient's head as well as using the inferior contact hand to match the force by pushing superiorly up into the lateral aspect of the patient's head. By doing this we can lock our upper and lower body in with our contact allowing us to generate a thrusting force not using the arms by themselves but by shifting the weight of the body in order to effectively achieve the manipulation with speed and with minimal force from the arms. As you can see, the thrust is a combination of lateral flexion as well as rotation.